CQB techniques are group tactics not individual. Each other's movements must be predictable so that they can move quickly and effectively. Whether intentional or not, if the basic rules are not followed, it can embarrass your teammates, and if they are repeated, they can be upset. Let's check the next situation. Now you pissed off. Reason why. You just entered corner fed room, the open door right, as the PT on the entry stack, and your back is empty. Of course, this is a joke and a training situation. But entries for new space are very dangerous. No matter how small corner fed room is expected, there is definitely a possibility that you will encounter an unexpected situation as soon as you cross the entry point. Of course, trained operators can do a lot of work on their own, but without a backup, it's hard to move efficiently, and if they fail, all team members can be at risk. Make sure to cover your buddy. You should never let your teammate into a room alone. But you are alone now. Yes. Now you pissed off. Oh, Now you pissed off. Reason why. DT, who received your signal, just crossed the open door with panning and is standing on the opposite of the doorframe. During panning, PT can figure out his hard corner and look directly inside the room, predicting the direction he will enter and the engagement inside. DT has the highest chance of being hit when entry and at the same time has higher authority over his door than anyone else. But your teammate, who was a PT until just now, who saw the 90% inside of the room, is now folding the muzzle and telling you to go in first. Yes. Now you pissed off. Now you pissed off. Reason why. This time, it's the opposite of the previous situation. You held the open door in front of you and secured the entry angle and did muzzle signal announcing entry. But the corner boy who was waiting made the entry before the angle man. The angle man holding the wider angle, as a PT, checks the most parts of the room and locked down the door, has priority for entry. PT should show an obsession with his door and no one should enter first without your permission unless he is in engagement or a shot call. But now the door is clearly taken away and the entry priority is gone. Yes. Now you pissed off. Now you pissed off. The last man is the last person on the opposite side of the direction of progress, responsible for the rear and the link up with the allies. The last man provides a security against the rear flanking, so you should be careful not to fall away from the main cell that moves in the direction of progress while concentrating on the rear security. Therefore, when moving, always be aware of the location of the final person and tap him to know the time of the move. But you are now alone in the hallway. 
Yes. Now you pissed off. Again. Of course, the video you're watching now is an exaggerated directing, but you may have felt a similar feeling at least once during the flow, or you may have acted like this unintentionally. If you're too used to this kind of situation, look back on whether your movements are too slow or make frequent mistakes during training. But if you don't want to replace the team and your flow is badass, go to the CO and ask for coordination, or find a friend who doesn't like you, and try to have a progressive conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, 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 I'm.